you got here. I mean, it's mighty nice. <laughs> Like ought to be a soft out here someplace, don't you? Huh? Just one thing about us mountain raised boys. We sort of hard to convince about some things. <laughs> Listen, being your folks, ain't coming back for just a spell. Maybe we could sort of talk about you not having a little old saw fire. You reckon we could? <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> Oh, I clean forgot. You feel put out, we ain't had no proper introduction. Is that it? I bet that's it. <laughs> My name's Truck. Truck Garnett. You can call me Truck if you feel friendly inclined, though. <laughs> now, how about that fire, huh? Huh? <laughs> Where is it? Where is it? <laughs> People up there, they're suspicious of everything and everybody from the outside world. So if you find the truck has made it back home, I wouldn't ask it of you to go in after him alone. Never let me ride by without stopping to water my horse. Have dinner. I was going to say, you just let me know and I'll send a request for help. I killed her for no reason at all. If the truck's in there, I don't want help. Sorry, Tess. My mind's wandering. Thank you. And up. Take care of yourself, Sam. Looking for a man called Truck Garnett. I'd appreciate it if you could tell me where he lives. He 
United States Marshal. I thought Truck was already in your custody for dealing them stolen guns. He was. A real United States Marshal? He don't look like no Marshal to me. That says so right there, Jason. I think. <laughs> <laughs> Men don't like it, Wes. I don't hear him saying he don't like it. I figure a man didn't like it, he'd say he didn't like it. Is that right, Marshal? Maybe he's taking no of them stomping boots you got on. <laughs> well, seeing as how he's so friendly. That's for truck on that lives. I'd have done the same myself. Get back where you come from, mister. Come, Leona May got a hold of them handcuffs. He didn't need to see them. He knew. He let him go in. Let truck take care of his own. If he can't, well, the marshal's got to pass this way again when he hopes to be leaving. What's that Marshall fella doing up here? He's looking for somebody. Truck's back home. Serve him right, that Marshall fella gets him. You ain't gonna run out on Truck, Cor. Man messing up his life don't need running out on. Truck's doing the running. Cora, you stay behind that fella, Casey. He's smart enough to take that south trail. Ain't no sense in Truck being surprised. Hey! Hey, wait up there! Whew. Mister, you're, you're sure gonna get lost just wandering off in any direction. Well, finally found someone who's interested in whether I get lost or not. Truck ain't at his place, so I don't mind telling you, you should take on the other path. They told me at the store it was him you was looking for. Well, thank you. I wasn't quite sure of my direction till now. Never let a chicken hawk be. That's the first thing we learn up here. I suppose the second thing you learn is a warning signal. You best go off a ways. I'll have Roy fetch you if we know more. <laughs> All this trouble. Never nothing but trouble. Inside for now. And don't you get to act nervous, whoever's coming. Miss Garnett! Oh, howdy. All right, nice to see you. This is a government man, Miss Garnett. A marshal. Looking for truck, mister? Well, he ain't here. I imagine he'll be by Mrs. Garnett. It's his home. Don't know about being his home, mister. He ain't never in it. Just fixing to put something on the table, Cora. Be right glad of your company if you feel like sitting down. To it. Thanks, Miss Garnett. Might as well come in, too. It's a long ways back. No sense doing it on an empty stomach. Yeah, it's coming on dark now, Roy. He'll be just as big as life when Ma turns on that lamp. Are you sure Ma and Cora ain't in the way? Hey, Roy, go down by the house. Give me a crow if you see it's only him by the window. <laughs> So you really 
think Truck could be hidden back this way? It's likely, Mrs. Garnett. She hasn't done so already. All is the wild and Truck. Young'uns, they break your heart. Rare them, bear them. Your heart's like a glass dish ready to topple over onto the floor. Too bad he ain't married up with you, Carl. Might have settled him down. Miss Garnett. Then he wouldn't be in no trouble now, you and him set up in your own place. You should come here more often, Cora. Always glad to have your company. Mr. Marshall, all you have to do is get him. For well, land's sakes, he's out there waiting for you. Shouldn't ought to keep my boy waiting, Mr. Marshall. You're really hoping he kills me, aren't you? We're hoping nobody has to get killed. You don't mean nothing to me. You're a stranger from another world, and I'm just dirt to you. Only time your kind ever comes around here is to bring trouble. Go on, hunt for truck. You hunt for truck and find out how good we learn to survive. He's a coming truck. I've seen as how we are raising this brush, Roy. I don't think I mind that at all. He can't be in the brush. Back by the house. Maybe he never even left that house. Very slowly, truck. On your feet. Slow. You must be half engine. At least. Now turn around real slow. Throw me the rifle. tell your ma. If she tries to stop me, the boy's life is at stake. So help me, I'll shoot to kill. Go on. Hey, Roy. Roy, wait a minute. You gonna tell ma to pass the word for us so the boys might be down at the store? They might be wanting to say their goodbyes to the marshal here. <laughs> Well, I'd keep the boys waiting down there, Mr. Marshall. Ain't hardly sociable. <laughs> Howdy. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I think you'd better go back. Might be a long time before I see him again. <laughs> you are set a while, Marshal. You want to rest your legs? <laughs> right. Move on. No, wait, wait, wait a minute. Move on. Hold up, slow down. You, you sure might have changed you before Marshal, ain't you? No, wait, 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 Marshal. You mind if I, mind if I smoke on the way down? Huh? Car, you. How about you taking the fixings from my shirt here? Kind of ain't the easiest job with these things on. <laughs> come here, honey. Come here. Come here, honey. Huh? You show sure getting pretty every day. Kind of, kind of makes a man think he's missing out on the better things. <laughs> Rod, why'd you? Why'd you have to get into this trouble? You're messing up our lives and everything. I know, I know. Oh, 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 oh. Throw your gun right over here, Marshal. Throw it over here. Your neck, Marshal. I'm good, Craven. You can blink. Throw it! You kill your own woman? Throw it! All right, truck. All right.
I'll kill you, Cora. I'm gonna kill you real slow. You're gonna see, Cora. I know ways to make to make you wish you'd never been born, Cora. You hear me? All right, I'm gonna drag you on this earth. I'm gonna make you beg for mercy, Cora. Just one more word, one more. And so help me, I'll shoot you down and leave you here. The first time you stop, I'll blow a leg out from under you and drag you the rest of the way. Well, go on, move. <laughs> Let him go! What kind of people are you? You still have feelings for that man after he tried to break your neck? Some feelings are still there. We were brought up and raised to take care of one another. We live up here long enough. You see, there's no way but sticking together. Well, Truck's my prisoner. I couldn't let him go if I wanted to. And I don't want to. They'll kill you. They'll kill you. And they'll say they never set eyes on you. I have no choice. Come along now. You man, you wait on my say so, you hear? <laughs> <laughs> well, here we are, Mr. Marshall. Here's some of the boys here to say their goodbyes. <laughs> <laughs> Now get them irons off him, Marshal. <laughs> You're scaring the man, Wes. You call that friendly. The minute you touch that gun, you're a dead man, mister. I hope you take that as a real serious warning. If you kill me, somebody else will only be here to take my place. Don't mind seeing a new face, mister. Right glad to see friendly folks in this part of the country. <laughs> I want everything here today done legal-like. I'm letting you keep the gun. You turn Trump loose, it's from your own free will, and we're gonna let you right out of here. Your choice, mister. I'm taking Trump to his horse. And we're leaving. <laughs> Man wouldn't listen, Wes. Maybe this is better speaking language. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, come here. Mess him up again here, James. Come on, you ain't had a fair turn. <laughs> That's enough. <laughs> City living sure sours up a fella, don't it? Head's getting soft, too, looks like. Ain't thinking them too good today. That's enough, you hear? All right, mister, you want it shown, you got it. Don't make us have to show you no more. I thought I understood people like you. I believed you had a purpose in life. A code of decency to guide you. Get out. Back where you come from. You have to kill me to stop me from taking truck. You call him, mister. One step with truck. Just one. And I'm hoping you take it. <laughs> now, where's this ride over here? Come on, Marshal. Come on. Let's show him we ain't scared. <laughs> You'd commit murder for this animal? You might have said the wrong thing, mister. Truck's one of us. This... This animal who calls himself a human is one of you? I don't believe it. You've got no call to say words like that. Man runs from your law, he's got to fight back like Truck's doing now. Law? Run from the law? That little girl they buried this morning, was she the law? Was Truck fighting back when he killed her? Did Truck seek to depend on that little girl being killed? Shut up! You hear? 
You shot him with all them lies. Well, what are you waiting for? Huh? What are you listening to him for? Kill him! That's wrong, truck. These people say you're one of their kind. They'd like to hear about you. I can see they don't get much news up here. Please shut your mouth, Marshal. I'll kill you. I'm sure you want to hear about the girl. She trusted people. People who came by her home should make them welcome. He repaid her kindness by killing her. Shut up! No, no. What are you afraid of, truck? These are your own people. They'll understand. So oh, help me. So oh, help me. I'll kill you. He wants you to kill me because he's afraid of the truth. Get in! <laughs> you know me! Now I'm leaving with the truck. I know you can stop me if you want to. And take him back among you. If you still feel he's one of yours. Mister, maybe you'd say I'm a man that speaks what's gonna be around here. And I say this to you. You're gonna mount up. And you're gonna ride out. Alone. <laughs> hey, Marshal! Marshal, you're giving up too easy! <laughs> Ain't you got a duty to do? Huh? <laughs> Don't you want to be no hero? <laughs> you better send two marshals up here next time! <laughs> Huh? <laughs> I hate to put you to trouble again, Jason, but that little old saw file of yours ain't worn out, is it? Huh? <laughs> Them's all lies. Just lies, now. I wouldn't kill no girl. Y you know me, Wes. <laughs> Just ain't like me. <laughs> like I gotta explain to you, Wesley. I mean, he's hurting a little old gal. I mean, something soft. Huh? You're gonna bring in that law. That's what I intended to do. Oh, well, you're hurt. Did he fool you? I thought he was going to test. He couldn't fool people who knew right from wrong. The only person he fooled was himself. I understand. I was I think I do.